Hi everyone, welcome to my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, welcome to my home. My name is Rhonda. If you are new to my channel, thank you for coming. I uh, really am excited about you being here and spending your time with me. Um, I might move back a little bit so you can actually see the products. There we go. That might be better. Also, so you know that I am not naked. It is uh, about 187 degrees here in North Florida. Um, you're lucky I didn't do this in a bathing suit because seriously that was coming okay I haven't been to Dollar Tree for a while and apparently I need a lot of stuff because I got a lot of stuff um, I'm gonna start with the boring stuff um, which is always household for me I bought something called the works I have used this before this product before uh, this is a nice big I think it's 16 ounces I don't have my glasses on or anywhere near me I think it's 16 ounces um, I have used the works I think in the spray for bathroom I'm going to try this. It's tub and shower cleaner. Works on contact. We shall see. And it's a good legitimate brand that I have used and liked in the past. So that's that. I also got a uh, 30 count good and clean disinfectant wipes. I have some baby toys that got passed down from my granddaughter to a friend's child. And I want to do a big wipe on them before I pass them on. Typically, if I can, I throw things in the dishwasher. I throw things in the dishwasher that should not be in the dishwasher. But um, nobody's here to stop me, so I do what I want. But this, uh, these are encapsulated toys that have like a plastic barrier around them to play, uh, to play with so they don't get loose. And I'm afraid water's going to get in that. So I'm just going to wipe them down myself with these. Um, nasal spray, North Florida. This is the harsh one. The less harsh one is in the red pack. This one will, um, but if you can stand the pain, <laughs> it'll open your sinuses up for 12 hours. I swear by it. But I am also a disclaimer. It kind of hurts. I don't care though. Um, uh, I got moist wipes. Um, I keep these handy to give to my husband. Um, he is in a car driving prisoners all day long. So he, uh, for lunches and stuff, easy cleanup for him. Food, my cashews. This is, I think, two ounces. Yes, it is. My craft's walking behind the camera, so if something happens, we're just gonna go with it. I don't edit. Um, two ounces of salt, lightly salted, no roasted and salted cashew pieces. I keep these in my purse for food emergencies. If I'm tempted to just drive through a drive-through and go ham on something that I shouldn't have, I have this. I have a cup of coffee or something, bottle of water. Things calm down. And for dessert, in the same vein, if I'm wanting something sweet, I keep something... This isn't great for me. It's got stuff in there I probably shouldn't have, but this is um, a Gold Lightly brand sugar-free chocolate mint. So I figured one or two of those would kill that need. That's my thought anyway, so... And uh, I got some caramel apple, Old Dominion caramel apple peanuts. I have, I've never had these before. But I'm going to assume that they were really good. It's a smallish bag. Can't see the ounces on it. Sorry, I'm blind as a bat without my glasses. And I don't. I didn't put them on because I'm hot. But while you're here, because this is how we do things. We're buddies. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad in carbs. So if you're wanting something sweet but a little bit more satisfac satisfying, I think I would go without. Um, now I also got the Dano Pack. Dandy pack from um, um, um dandy pack, I guess. Yes, the honey roasted peanuts. I don't go through them fast enough to buy the big containers of them because I get kind of stale and old. I do very, have very happy squirrels, grateful squirrels in the backyard, but I don't think I want to give them sugary things either. So, got a couple things for my husband to snack on. My husband, the snacker. I've never seen these before. Mike and Ike is a vegan product too. If you're if you're concerned about um uh having desserts with vegan options. This is one of them. Mike and Ike's root beer float. I've never had it before. And I'm going to have a couple when he opens them up. I also got him a box of caramel crunch and munch. And this is a full size regular box of crunch and munch. Okay. That is food and boring stuff. Oh, I also, I don't know what's happening to my dish towels. These are the 100% cotton dish towels that, wa that wash and dry up pretty nice. They're very, very thin. But they also are a little scrubby, so I kind of like them as bar mops. And I like to have several so I can go through a few a day if I want them. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, five, five, 
and one of them is orange. Looks good with that though. So anyway, I'm not picky about these. Um, I what I am picky about, I like about these. They're thin, they wash and dry fast, they're scrubby. I like them. So that's that is my thing there. Okay, um, I got my little baby a pair of sunglasses. That's cute. I don't want her to be concerned about losing them, so I just keep her stocked with sunglasses. That's the little's little. Not my little, but my little's little. Oh, I also, um, I'm getting, I'm getting a gym bag together, and this is the Dial uh, Antiperspirant Deodorant and Crystal Fresh. Um, I'm getting a gym bag together in case I need to shower at the gym. I don't typically do that. I don't live far from the gym, and I typically just come home. But I do want a gym bag if I do need to start showering there and going other places. So I, I'm starting to collect little things like little shampoos, little things like that for my gym bag. Got my, my aunt requested some more of the um, cinnamon bun candle from Old Williamsburg. You'll notice that there is no candle burning back here. It's because it is approximately 184 degrees here and I want nothing hot. These lights are making me a little nuts. So I got two of these for her. Um, I'm also going to, I, I've done a couple of weddings and I have some blossoms left over. So, and she doesn't have a, um, she doesn't have anything on her front door. So I found this really pretty little um, grapevine wreath and some, mm, some burlap ribbon. And I'm going to use some of the, some of the um, blossoms that I have left over from weddings that I've done recently and see if I can just like kind of group it together to hang on her front door. She may not like it. If she doesn't like it, I'm not hanging on me, on mine or me. That would make me, that would make me interesting to no end if I hung that on me. Uh, I picked up AA batteries. I find myself, and there's eight of them in here. I find myself out of double A's. I have plenty of triple A's and big ones, but I don't have double A's enough. So I'm going to just start. Every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I'm going to pick up a double A until my husband says, Stop! We have enough! <laughs> okay. Um, here are my favorite elastics. There's 15 count in here. And let me tell you why I like these. And I'm going to the gym now, so hair up. Oh, look at that. My hair is like all up and pretty and full. I have hair. <laughs> I'm so excited. I haven't had hair very long. This is new. Anyway, they're flat. I'm trying to get it to where you can see it. They don't pull my hair out, see? But they're kind of wide. Uh, and they do fit on my wrist so I can, you know, put it up. But there's clasp free, so there's nothing in here that's going to snag your hair. And I find that these do not leave a big, huge crease in it either. Like, I can get up from the night, sleeping in it overnight, up in a ponytail, get up and brush my hair, and it's actually kind of cute. So. I don't know. Might want to consider. There's 15 of these in there. And I looked all over. I'd forgotten that I bought them at the Dollar Tree. And I was looking at all the other stores, Target and wherever I could find, to get some more. And I couldn't find them. And I just came across them at the Dollar Tree. I'm like, I'm such an idiot. I got them at the Dollar Tree. Who knew? Okay. There is a phenomenon called, like, schedule keepers. Um... This is mine. This is just my calendar that I keep in my car, in my purse. This is my months. That is a month with nothing coming on it. It's uh, August, so. But if you get back to like, let's, let's look at May. That's mine. But planners apparently are a big deal now. And Dollar Tree has a lot of stuff for planners. I haven't fallen for it yet. Um, I did stop someone who was in Michael's really searching for planner stuff and showed her my planner and she laughed at me because my schedule, that's my whole month and she laughed at me. So I feel like I'm missing out on something. So anyway, I found some stuff that were for planners and I decided just to buy it, put it up. If I can't use it in card making, which I can use a lot of this stuff in card making, then I will hang on to it until I finally get a coupon and go buy myself a planner and start carrying out a big planner. In the meantime, that little one's just fine. So anyway, here are the things that I got for my future planner. Um, I don't really know what to do with these stickers, but that's what it's for. It's for planners. I figure once I get one, I'll know. Or I will YouTube it like I do everything else in life. If it's not on YouTube, I don't know what's happening. 
I thought those were really pretty. And again, I can use a lot of these things in card making if I don't end up with a planner. So it's not like it's going to be wasted. So this is not for planners. That is strictly for card making. Isn't that beautiful? I love these. I really do. I think they're so lovely and they're a dollar. And they had a whole set of denim ones, denim stickers that I can just use white ink on, either a pen or um, a rubber stamp pad of white ink. I thought those are really, really nice. And then this is um, sticky notes with lines, which I need more than anything, I have decided. That's exactly what I need in my life, is one of these stuck to me somewhere with a pin stuck to this. Um, I am a list maker, especially since my very long surgery, and I, I have surgery brain still. I, I, can't, I can't function. Well, I can function, but you know, I don't trust my memory anymore, so everything goes on stickies. Um, I got six count, yes, six count of paper clips. I love that little, I think it's so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to need that in my planner, or if I'm going to need that in life in general, or on my cards, but I will need it somewhere. Um, I forgot about this. This is six feet of diamond wrap, and it bounces. That's just diamond wrap ribbon. I'm thinking around um, bridal bouquets, just around, you know, once I get them wrapped with, with um, the ribbon, then wrap one, just like one little thing, maybe with a flower stuck to it or a brooch or a, an in initial of their, you know, their thing. I think it would be nice. I also picked up two more of the lace stickers. I am using these a lot, so I, if I find some, especially if I find something new, I'm picking these up. And um, there's five, five in each. And I said they're very pretty. They have kind of a rubbery feel to them, but they honestly look like tatted lace on a card. It's very strange. Um, I picked up this really beautiful gift bag. Isn't that pretty? I have no uh, idea who's going to get what in that, but it needed to come home with me, so it did. I have a, I have a, a storage spot for that. I'm, it's just not random. I do have a storage spot for that. I picked this stationery set up for my giveaway that's coming up pretty soon. I just thought it was pretty. This I think is a, a fun eraser. I'm not entirely sure. An eraser, some paper clips, some sticky notes, and some push pins, all in a very you know trendy color um, now with the black, and the white, the hot pink, and the gold. I just thought it was lovely, and it, I kind of like the package that I send for my giveaways to be really like pretty and special. So. They had, I'm going to show you, it's put together. They had um, magazine binders for a dollar. And I got six of them. And what I'm going to use them for is cardstock. I just, I just grabbed my cardstock that I travel with and threw it in here. It's going to be perfect. But what I'm going to do is one of these will have like black and white. One will, another one will have like, you know, red and green, different cardstocks that I, that I can easily tell the difference. So I've got six of them, so that means I have uh, holders for 12 different colors of cardstocks. Now within those colors, there's different shades. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. I am, but I'm not going to admit it to you guys. But, uh, you know, I'll have like, just have them out so I can see them. And um, on my desk, it'll be like this, lined up on my desk, so I can just reach for my cardstock. Easy peasy. They're all going to have to be together, though, because they do tend to whip around a little bit. So I'm going to put them together so they don't, they're not a problem. Um, okay, I think the rest of this is cosmetics. Oh, one thing. This was in for the wrapping, uh, and it's a bow and, and um, raffia. Well, not raffia, twine. But this is the prettiest color pink, and this is fabric. So... I'm not going to use this for a present. I'm going to take it off, take this little back off, put a clip on it, and that's going to be on my purse, on my uh, clothing. I probably wouldn't do my hair, but you never know. It could happen. But I think this is the prettiest little flower. And this can be used, you know, in my card making, but or my flower making, but this is going to go on a pin or a clip and be put in my wardrobe. And I almost bought all of the colors they had because I kind of do things like that. But I just thought this was pretty. And it's a dollar. Every, of course, everything's a dollar. Okay. Now that I do have hair again, I lost all my hair 
Not this last Christmas, the Christmas before last, and I was in a wig. I lost about 70% of it. It was really tragic. It was from a health problem. Um, but anyway, hair is back, and it's not quite as full or long as it was, but it's back. And it's back enough that I can't go outside and not want to shave it all off, because it's hot. So anyway, I found this. This is just a really cool alligator clip for my hair, just to whip it up and a clip in it and I have a few bobby pins in it trying to keep it up in a in a you know a, a, an acceptable manner to be on YouTube but the truth is I don't really put this much effort into it normally I could just do that and if this works out I'm probably gonna go get a backup I'm also going to try their razors I have not tried it I do not have a review on it but this is a six blade set of two for a dollar so razors are high they are expensive I, I epilated for years Epilating hurts, but what it does is it scars the hole that the hair comes out. So I don't have a lot of underarm or leg hair anymore, but every once in a while I need to shave now. I have stopped epilating. It died, and I just didn't do it again. My epilator died. It, it fought the good fight, but it did die. But anyway, so I decided to, to just go back to regular old razors. It happened on vacation, so that's, that's why I did. And I went back to regular old razor. And, but to buy them, it's so expensive now, and I'm spoiled. I'm not used to that. So I thought, well, I'll just, I'll just grab these. I, I grabbed a couple from the store, like the grocery store, and I think it was $6.99 for two razors. Nice lady razors. I'm gonna, if, if this doesn't hurt, I'm just going to stay with these two. They look like lady razors. Okay. My, I, I looked at my hairbrush. And it looks um, sad and scary. I'm going to try this hairbrush. Uh, it's vented for blow drying, which I don't really blow dry my hair now. But um, I do like the fact that it's a little spacey and uh, not disgustingly dirty. I don't think I can wash my... I mean, I washed it and it still looks bad. But it did come with me, I think, from Michigan, which would make it... Oh, gosh, that would make it very old. <laughs> I may just give it to a museum. So anyway, that was a cat that just knocked over a pot of tea, but she knocked it into the sink. So it's okay. My life in the zoo. You all right, Ruby? Ruby, you okay? She's fine. So anyway, I'm going to try the quality of this. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to love it, but, you know, it's not going to be disgusting. Okay, LA Colors. I've not really had really good luck with LA colors. They tend not to um, have a lot of pigmentation in their colors. But what I wanted were these beautiful greens, and especially this kind of bluey green. This is Jacksonville Jaguar Country. Don't make fun. We love our Jaguars. Our Jaguars. However you say it. We say it Jaguar. Like it has a W I R E in it. So anyway, I got this. And hopefully. I will be able to open it and show you. It had a little brush with it that just hit the floor. So this is the white. See, well, it shows more payoff than there actually is. Like, it's not, anyway. It does kick up a little dust. There's the green, isn't that pretty? Well, that's the second green. This is a more khaki green. I haven't really honk on it. It's a pretty color though. This is the color that I wanted. This is the Jaguar green blue. That'll work. So I'm, I'm good with this. And then there's a brown and sort of a cocoa greeny brown khaki. So I, I'm not going to use these daily, but you know, it's nice if, if it's a football Sunday, I have an entire wardrobe of teal things to wear on football Sunday. All right. The last haul, I have these little Milani um, crystal lip glosses, and I have to tell you, I love them. I had pink, went back. They didn't have any more pink, but I got the two lab. I got two purple ones and sort of a reddy one. I'm gonna open it up for you. Open up the purple one. I love them. I love the smell. I love the the fact that they're little and they fit into like, you know, easy little nook, nook, niches in my purse. The smell is sort of um, desserty smell. It's sort of like um, like a vanilla. I'm trying to figure out where to put it so you can see it. My hands are dark. My wrists are not. 
So it's just a really light little color if you're not wanting to put on a full face, a full makeup and, and lipstick. Let's put it right over what I've got on now. Very nice feel, very comfortable. So you can use it to shine up your lipstick or in lieu of lipstick. This is what I'm using them for. So I got two of these and uh, they don't have a color on them, I don't think. And if they do, I couldn't possibly see it. No, I don't see any color. And I got this more ready one. So anyway, uh, that was kind of a big Dollar Tree haul. I'm not going to tell people how much that was. I spent a little money, but I needed all the, well, I didn't need this. I wanted this. There's a few things I didn't need that I just bought that I wanted, but that's why you have Dollar Trees. So you can go get stuff that you want. And you like, I have 20 bucks, I'm gonna buy a big bag of stuff and that's why Dollar Tree works. But you can also get things like this that are name brands that cost four, six, seven dollars in the store. And they're not expired and they're just perfectly fine and that's what we do. So anyway, um, I think that's the end. If you have found anything useful or informative or fun about this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, just be kind. I'm open for suggestions, but just be kind. So far, everybody has been just a doll about it, and I love, I love the feedback. I need to be better about getting back to people and talking to people directly. Well, not directly, but you know, through the comment section. I try. I've been a little bit on the busy side. School's getting out. We traveled. We had to travel to Michigan and back really fast for a funeral. So, you know, I've been a little busy, been involved in a few little projects. So, but maybe now things will be calm for a while and I can just, you know, spend a little bit more time with you and interact a little bit more in the comments. But yeah, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, if there's something you want me to review, let me know. And I'm happy to either do an online review or just talk to you through the comments. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I love to have you. I, I am so happy that people want to spend their time watching me talk about the stuff I buy. Anyway, if, uh, if there's any questions, please let me know. If not, I want you to have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.